Hello friends, welcome again and uh, this is my new project Auto Mobile Management System and I have developed this project in Java JSP and MySQL for JDK I am using JDK 1.8 MySQL version is 5.6 and uh, uh, Tomcat version is 7 for connecting uh, Java JSP with MySQL I have used uh, MySQL connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website the jar file and this is a web application for so for front-end development i have used html css and javascript right so these all technology i have used for developing this project automobile management system so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed what are the functionalities available inside this project right so once you run this project you will get this home page so you can see this is the home page right it's a static home page that there is nothing dynamic on it but other uh, pages are dynamic right where you will get the service centers customer login admin login registrations all those pages are dynamic right so about us page this is about the project and if you want to change the content then you can change from about us.jsp right this is a search service center so if you want to search for any of the service center in your area then you can find it here right so you can see all of the service centers are available here but if you filter out the record just click on that area you will be able to get the service center uh, which belongs to you yeah, which is available in that area right so if you click on that service center you will get uh, the service center details and you can submit the pickup request of your vehicle right once you click on the submit but there is a restriction you can't submit the pickup request without login right so this is our service center this is a customer login from where customer can log in and customer can perform certain operations this is an admin login from where admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations right this is a registration if you don't have user id and password from here you can register inside the system and after that you can log inside the system and you can reach the pickup request <clears throat> this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page right so now i am going to log in as an admin so the user id is admin and the password is test test so once you log in then you will get this dashboard right admin can perform certain operations so you can see all of the operations which admin can perform admin can manage all of the operations are here right you can jump on that page either clicking on this menu or either clicking from here right so let me go through one by one home already explained to you this is a dashboard now i am going to add service center from here you can add any of the service center and that service center will be visible on the home page without customer login customer can see the service center details and customer can raise the pickup request <coughs> this is add location from here admin can add the location and this location will come inside the this page <coughs> this drop down right this all both of the drop downs are dynamic right this is add bill from here admin can add the bill here this is a pickup id and on that pickup id all of the bill will be generated <coughs> this is a report from here admin can see all of the centers report which he has added and once you click on the edit he will be able to see all of the details and he can update it right this is a location report from here admin can see all of the locations right this is the customer report from here admin can see all of the customers and their pickups right once you click on the pickups then he will be able to see all of the pickups raised by the customer with all of the informations and dates once you click on the view details you will be able to see all of the pickup details this is the customer report i already explained to you this is a pickup report all of the pickup report will be displayed here according to the service center and once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details of all customers this is the bill report all of the bills will be displayed here and you can see both are divided into two parts paid are coming in green and unpaid are coming in red once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details of the bill right so this is the bill report this is a change password from here admin can change his password right and logout once you click on the logout then above administration menu will not be displayed because this is a session driven menu it renders according to the session so logout 
you can see the menu has been changed because there is no login now i am going to login as a customer so user id is admit that gmail.com and password is test once uh, customer login then he will get this dashboard you can see that dashboard is also session driven different menus are coming as comparison to admin right so here you can see service center suppose i am raising the pickup pick up request earlier customer was not able to submit the picker pick up request but now he will be right here he will enter the name and the email right and the contact number and the pickup address right once you click on the update pickup address then pickup id is eight right <coughs> right and you can see all of the details on my request once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details of that pickup my bills will be able you will be able to see all of the bills which has been raised by the customer uh, sorry admin right and the my account section from where you will be able to update your account details right and log out you can see in admin the menu option the header menu is different but in customer it's different and if you log out it's different right so these all functionalities are developed inside this project automobile management system and as i told you earlier this is a java gsp and mysql web based major project and this is also a dbms project so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirement and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technology thanks for watching the video thank you